Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' It's D. About to react to this vid by Lovely TTV. This is Is I Spice the most blatant industry plant in the rap game or in all? I just recently reacted to a video about her. It was called Why Everybody Loves I Spice or something like that. And I basically said it in that video that, you know, it is pretty suspicious how quickly she rose to fame um, and whatnot. Like, her music it's not that great <laughs> and i actually like her you know i i listen to princess diana all the time speaking of i recently reacted to uh the remix the video uh with her and Nicki minaj it's up on my patreon right now so go check that out link down in the description uh but yeah so i i do you know enjoy that song <laughs> I love to say her music, but that is a lie. That's the only song I listen to, to be honest. Um, I tried listening to her EP, and I was like, mm, girl, no, this isn't given. But I really like Princess Diana. Um, but it's it's still basic. There's no actual uh, lyrical talent there <laughs> whatsoever. So it's just a bit, you know, confusing why she is as popular as she is. It's just, you know, it does give industry play, to be honest. But let's hear what Lovely T has to say. Let's watch so today I want to talk about some things that are going on in the music industry. In the music industry, authenticity is key. And fans want to believe that their favorite artists are genuine, real. But what happens when people start to feel like some of their most favorite musicians are not? The concept of an industry plant has been around for years. It refers to a musician who is believed to have gained success, not solely based on their talent and hard work, but rather due to industry connections, marketing strategies, mm -hmm. and financial backing from record labels and other industry entities. In the rap industry specifically, some artists have been accused of being industry plants, meaning that their rise to fame may have been manufactured by the industry rather than their own organic homegrown talent. Accusations of being an industry plant are often fueled by rumors and speculations, but some artists have been confirmed as industry plants by insiders through leaked information. However, it's worth noting that not all successful artists in the rap industry who have backing from labels or industry connections are necessarily industry plants. Some have still worked hard to home their craft and build their fan base, and the industry support has simply helped them to reach a wider audience. But. Case in point, Chance the Rapper. Ultimately, the label of being an industry plant is very subjective and can be a difficult thing to prove. It's often up to the audience to decide for themselves whether they believe an artist so, that success didn't work. is genuine or fully manifested. I mean, maybe in the past. So today we're going to talk about Ice Spice, who has been accused of being an industry plant ever since she hit the scene in 2022. The success of Ice Spice is currently raising a lot of speculation and she has already gained the support of big name people like Drake, Cardi B, and Nicki Minaj. Her hit single peaked at number five on the Billboard's Top 100. However, despite all the hype and momentum, her success isn't quite translating as suspected. A lot of Twitter users are pointing out that when she performs live, there seems to be a lot of lackluster audience participation during her live performances. The problem with TikTok, you know one part of the song and the rest is just thrown out the window. In March of 2021, Ice Spice went viral on TikTok after doing the Erica Banks Busted Challenge. She had already been I'm thinking about making that. music and was talking to a producer. Ice Spice dropped four more tracks and quickly gained a significant buzz, landing her number five on the billboard. Or did he Despite her accusations of being an industry like... plant, she has denied these rumors and claims that her rise to fame was completely organic. In August 2022, Drake slid into her DMs and basically was telling her that he liked her music and her freestyle was hard. Now, both camps claimed that the DM was accidentally leaked, which to me is suspicious no. because how does a no. DM accidentally leak? Mm -hmm. But anyways, because of this DM, she went viral again. Soon after that, he booked a date with her and they were spotted in Toronto. However, not even 24 hours after their date, Drake unfollowed Ice Spice on Instagram, leading to rumors. And it's crazy because people were like, oh, he must unfollow her because he couldn't smash, da da da. Or, or he did his part. He like, all right, that's done. <laughs> I already, you know, followed her. I already co signed her like y'all asked me to. All right, now I don't really even fuck with her. Unfollow, moving on with my life. He. 
he completed the job. That's what that is. And speculations about their relationship and Ice Spice's authenticity. A lot of people started saying that maybe Drake was trying to sign her to OVO. He came to the conclusion that it was a label that fabricated her rise and it wasn't really her organic talent. Hmm. Now, although there's been no official statement, it does appear that Drake was upset. Niggas asking if I'm cool, I'm upset. Okay? And basically has not fooled with Ice Spice since. And even Ice Spice doesn't really have a real rebuttal for why Drake gave her the cold shoulder. Um, she was asked about this in a recent interview and she really has no idea. It's been speculated that Drake unfollowed you after. Whoa, she knows. You wanna tell us some tea on that? He did. I don't know why, though. <laughs> Shame on you, Drake. Shame on you. Shouldn't have done that. It's okay, though. She's out here. It's now, what's really interesting about Ice Spice is that the person who is her producer slash manager right. is a young man named Riot USA. Now, oh, Riot you know USA I... and Ice Spice went to the same school, and he's the one who encouraged her to start making music. He helped create her first song and developed her sound, which led her to go viral on Twitter. He also helped gain her traction on SoundCloud. Now it turns out after doing some digging that Riot USA is connected heavily in the music industry. Mm. His birth father is the legendary radio DJ, DJ Enough, who works at Hot 97. Oh. He's also Hot 97's mixed show coordinator. The connection helped Ice Spice get attention, eventually leading her to sign into a label called 10K Projects. Now, 10K Projects, that label is owned by Elliot Grange, and he's the son of Lucian Grange, who is the head of UMG, who is one of the most powerful men in the music industry. So mm. it's very clear at this point that Ice Spice's success is not just due to the fact that she lucked up and had a viral video, but rather a full marketing campaign from major record labels are behind her. On top of that, a lot of people are pointing out that her racial ambiguity is also helping in her success. Now, if you guys remember, rapper Chica, who was on the 2020 Double XL Freshman cover, she tweeted recently about how the industry loves a mid light skinned rapper. Yes. And this sparked a lot of debate about colorism and hip hop in the, the entertainment industry in general. A lot of people were also saying that Ice Spice is getting the Cardi B treatment. Um, that ever since she arrived on the scene, she's basically the younger version of Cardi B. And a lot of people have commented that a lot of No, darkness... Cardi B's music was way better, though. So I, I feel like her rise was a lot more or organic. Even if she did have people backing her, I feel like people really did fuck with Cardi. They liked her personality, and her music was a lot <laughs> better. And there was just more talent there. Whether she writes her own rhymes or not is irrelevant. The fact is there was just more talent there. And women have to work twice as hard and be even more talented to achieve the level of success that artists like Ice Spice are getting. Ice Spice is considered a drill rapper from the Bronx, but there are even more hardcore drill rappers in their darker skin like Kenzo B and Shani Bonnie, And they rap really good. They have not gotten half of the excess or exposures Ice Spice one of my favorite chocolate girls is Amaretta. Y'all know I love me some Amaretta. Um, they kind of not know, Atlanta. Amaretta is extremely talented. Paul is not Atlanta. <laughs> She's from Atlanta. And not Amaretta is so still struggling to really break mainstream. And I've been rooting for her now for the past few years. And it's like she's kind of stuck whereas ice spice has come out of nowhere and she's on the billboard she's doing her thing mm -hmm. so i definitely do feel like colorism does play a part course, in everyday society not just the music industry not just entertainment but in the real world I'm as well cute. and as a dark-skinned woman myself you do have to work a lot harder than your light-skinned counterparts that's just facts i don't care what anybody says about that no hate no shade it's just facts i know what i've been through on this platform oh my life i had to fight compared to some of my lighter skinned sisters and they definitely have had it a lot easier but with that being said the entertainment industry regardless they lie heavily on an artist's image and lightness and they have to be marketable and ice spice she does have a killer body you know she has that vixen shape she's thick 
small waist, big butt. So that definitely helps her as well. And her look is very different. She has like this, you know, she has like this orphan Annie, you know, Afro thing going on and I love it. And I think that being a part of her signature style helps to make her stand out as well because you don't see too many light skinned girls with a curly Afro. Now, Ice Spice's That's recent true. collaboration with UK artist Pink Panthers on the remix of Boys Alaya debuted at number 14 on the Billboard's Hot 100, and ultimately they peaked all the way up to number three. So they are definitely doing their thing. I Spice recently performed at Rolling Loud where she received a lot of positive response from the audience. And there was even some lunatic who also had a red afro who was screaming and going crazy. And I think this man, AKA the redhead lunatic that they were calling him on Twitter, was also an industry audience plant. Mm. Check this out. <laughs> It does give acting. But Look. either way, like I said, <laughs> I like the voice of, of a movie. is on fire, and people really do like that song. So in general, it is a lot harder for female hip-hop artists to break through the mainstream, Not given the twins. industry's misogynistic past and male domination. But hopefully Ice Spice's warm welcome to the industry that has helped her succeed so quickly. Hopefully this will mean that people are being more open-minded towards female rappers in the future. So what do y'all think about this? What yeah, it's for sure giving industry play. <laughs> it just is. But girl, do your thing. I don't give a damn. You, you know, plan, plan all you like. You know, take advantage of it while you can. Because I don't know how successful industry plants are long term. Because she even put out there that, oh, people were speculating that Chance the Rapper, you know, was an industry plant. If he was, then, you know, it didn't help him in the long run i don't think that you know industry plants are put in the industry to make money for the label long term i think they're thinking short term like okay we're gonna put you know this artist out there we're gonna make a lot of money in a short period of time and then you know yon yon figure it out if you keep growing organically cool if you don't, then that's on you. Like, I feel like it's that type of energy because I don't see them continuing to put large amounts of money into an industry plant um, for fucking 5, 10, 15 years. You feel me? Like, that's why, obviously, Beyonce couldn't be an industry plant or a Rihanna or a Nicki Minaj or something like that. I feel like uh, it's it's just a short-term thing. So if she is, she better, she better hope this lasts. <laughs> she better put in work so that her career extends uh, beyond the short contract that she's on or whatever. I don't know how it fucking works, but it does seem very suspicious that uh, she is, you know, gaining all this popularity and people saying, oh, she's just so likable and she's chill and she's this and that. What the fuck they got to do anything? <laughs> you know, an, an artist should, you know, blow up and become popular and be high on the charts because there is talent there because people are interested in their craft, in their music. Okay, you're nice to look at, and, and you seem cool. You seem like a vibe, but okay. <laughs> what the fuck that got to do with anything? All right. Like, I don't think that should uh, determine uh, someone's success in, in the music industry. It's music. This is not modeling or reality TV. I mean, sure, I know likability is important to, you know, a certain extent, but I think talent should override all of that and it's just clear that there's there's not much talent there there are no witty bars there are no uh <laughs> there are no uh, amazing beats there there's nothing great about the music that she produces at all so it's just it's just a fact so it's like it just the success it just doesn't it doesn't match but uh yeah like i said do you girl take advantage of whatever they offering you i would if i was her the fuck y'all let me know what y'all think though let me know what other videos you're gonna watch and i'll see you on the next one bye